Introducing James, Viscount Seven. Prince Edward and Sophie's youngest child is the lesser known member of the royal family. Hi. Before we continue, please subscribe to the channel for more British royal family news. Amidst the grandeur of Prince Edward and Sophie's new titles as the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, a secret promotion was bestowed upon another member of the royal clan. The youngest child, James, previously known as Viscount Seven, has now inherited his father's prestigious subsidiary title and is henceforth recognised as the Earl of Wessex. While glimpses of James have been caught by the public during significant royal gatherings, the enigma surrounding this 15-year-old remains intact. He resides with his parents in Bagshot Park, an enchanting 17th-century estate nestled near Windsor. As the 15th successor to the throne and the youngest grandchild of the late Queen Elizabeth II, James Alexander Philip Theo Mountbatten Windsor entered this world on December 17, 2007, in the picturesque county of Surrey. At the time of his birth, James held the esteemed position of eighth in line to the throne, even surpassing his older sister, the elegant Lady Louise Windsor, who was then 19 years old. However, the introduction of the Succession to the Crown Act in 2013 altered the course of royal lineage. No longer would male children supersede their female counterparts in the line of succession. This change applied only to those born after October 28, 2011. Thus, James retains his place ahead of Louise in the order of succession, unaffected by the arrival of Zara Tyndall's third child, Lucas. This is due to the fact that Zara's mother, Princess Anne, was born before the act's implementation, despite being older than Edward. James, rumoured to be one of the Queen's cherished grandchildren, received his baptism in the private chapel of Windsor Castle in April 2008. When Prince Edward and Sophie exchanged vows in 1999, they made a conscious decision to grant their future offspring courtesy titles rather than bestowing them with the lofty titles of prince or princess. This choice was approved by the late monarch herself. The designation of Viscount Seven, derived from one of his father's subsidiary titles, was believed to be a nod to Sophie's Welsh heritage, as it pays homage to the River Severn in Wales. The Edinburghs, desiring a semblance of normalcy for their children amidst their royal lineage, sought to shield them from the weight of such titles, allowing them to lead as ordinary a life as possible under the circumstances. This longing is the primary reason why there is limited knowledge about James and Louise, although Sophie has divulged some details about her family life, such as their fondness for barbecues, in which Prince Edward excels. During an interview with the Times in 2020, when asked about how she strives to provide her children with a normal life, the Countess at the time responded with a thought-provoking question, what is normal? She then went on to reveal that they attend regular schools, both of which were independent at the time. When discussing her children's lives, Sophie mentioned their enjoyment of sleepovers, parties with friends, and taking their dogs for walks. Sophie added, I suppose not everyone's grandparents reside in a castle, but the destination or the person they are with is not the important aspect. When they are with the Queen, she is simply their grandmother. Furthermore, she disclosed that they are raising their children to understand the likelihood of having to work for a living. This decision led to the choice of not using HRH titles. Sophie stated, they possess these titles and can choose to use them once they turn 18, but I believe it is highly improbable. In 2016, while discussing her efforts to shield her son and daughter from the public eye during their childhood, Sophie expressed to the BBC, certainly, when they were very young, we made an effort to keep them away from it. It was solely for their sake to allow them to grow up as normally as possible, which we deemed crucial. Eventually, they will have to venture out, find employment, and earn a living. If they have had as normal a start in life as possible, then hopefully that will benefit them in the long run. Undoubtedly, royal enthusiasts will be closely observing the 15-year-old to see if this young, hidden royal will assume a more prominent role in the public engagements of the firm. Thank you for watching till the end. Please do share your thoughts in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates.